all told, we got a little over 1,600 head of cattle. And, um, you know, like I said, we're, we're working with a, a little over 500, I mean, a little over 800 breeding females. And so um, uh, our, our, our job is to produce a, a real good, solid uh, calf. We keep them purebred out of uh, purebred Charlotte cattle. We're purebred breeders for many years. And uh, so we continue down that path. We AI our, all our heifers. We try to bring in, that's the only way we bring in new bloodlines. We don't buy any, any bulls or anything like this, but we do produce our own bulls from our own, uh, for AR, our artificial insemination on our heifers. And we can keep them healthy. Um, they're, it's a low stress environment. Uh, and that's got a lot to do with the healthiness in, uh, in animals. We keep the stress off of them. Uh, about the stressful, most stressful period they have on the, on the, on the calf is when he goes through weaning. And uh, we do that uh, through a sort of a uh, fence line weaning where the calf can still see his mom, hear his mom, touch her nose, and that sort of thing. So it's a, we keep, we build a stress-free environment, let's put it that way. Well, we do a lot of tours and uh, we talk to a lot of consumers. Uh, you'd be surprised how much the consumer really knows. She, she's pretty well informed. And uh, we get calls just about every day wanting to know how we manage our cattle, how we, what we put them on, what kind of uh, <clears throat> uh, treatments they get. Uh, obviously, we don't have a treatment level of antibiotics or anything like that that we put in them. Uh, so uh, we keep them all natural. Well, really, they want to know if that animal primarily uh, has had a, um, a life that is um, um, conducive to that animal enjoying its life. Uh, they want to know, make sure that it hasn't suffered in the harvesting phase. They want to make sure that uh, it has uh, been managed in such a way that it has um, not been mistreated. As um, one of the things that we've had to to realize, and that is that consumers don't even want us uh, dehorning cattle. A Charlet will have horns once in a while, and uh, uh, as a result of this program, we have to leave those horns on and just tip them. Even in uh, steering operation, we have to make sure that we get those calves steered pretty early and have uh, as least stress on as possible. The average consumer now is honest, they won't know you know, really just the facts and that sort of thing. But it gives an opportunity for those who are anti-meat to get in the picture and uh, try to get something to use against you. And uh, all they need is a picture on this farm of some calf being mistreated. Let's say if a, if, if a cow were to get stuck in the mud someplace and we, you know, we have a tractor and a rope uh, trying to pull her out, that's all the animal rights people want to see. You know, this poor cow has been mistreated on the Baldwin farm. And uh, when we're trying to save her life, we have, an, we have a force out there which is strictly anti-meat. And it's primarily based, I think, in Washington uh, and a lot of uh, other uh, pushes coming out of there against uh, many of those folks, vegetarians. I want to make a point that um, VMAC is not this smart, okay? Um, this is God's providence in our life. You better, you better give God the right uh, uh, recognition and uh, position in your life because uh, um, He's the one that uh, gives us the desires of our heart. And so, uh, um, and uh, we recognize that uh, God's the one that owns the cattle on a thousand hills, and we just take care of them.